three, two, one. Let's jam. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Cowboy Bebop, everybody. Welcome. Ugh. Speaking of Bebop, nice. Rocksteady, Ninja Turtles. Finally, gonna talk about Ninja Turtles. Maybe. And, oh man, these these levels. I I I think this sensitive mic is better in my hands because I can control the projection. And you, the talent, you have one level, baby, and it's up there. We might talk about Ninja. We might talk about Ninja Turtles, man. Those, those, it, I know it sounds good, but it, it's just very scary, level wise. We're doing some live editing, like we always do. I'm Sherm. I'm Tom. And we're the Rude Boys. Rude Boys Power Hour Plus, episode 128. Yes. Every time. I don't know. I should have these things out, but I don't. Gee, if only you had a cell phone that you could also look at the how fucking How many more notes? screens and how many more things do you want me to, to balance? You While I'm doing usually this. do have it up when we're doing fucking. I usually do speech. have it up, yeah. baby. Yeah, for two Ooga. seconds from I'm told. Yeah, that's a fucking lie. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we have to sleep at night. We're talking about Ninja yeah, Turtles don't. today. Voice <laughs> <laughs> Power Hour flies. <laughs> finally talking about Ninja Maybe. Turtles. Finally, finally talking about Ninja Maybe. Turtles. Maybe, buddy. Tom, let's cut the crap. What do we got in our mouth? Tell me what I have. What we have in our mouth. I told you what this is. Don't say I don't know. I told you like two minutes ago. Yeah, it's a mint julep. It's not a mint julep. <laughs> Tell the audio <laughs> listeners, and we we have no other. Well, we have no listeners. Period. But tell those who are listening to this podcast, the two people at most, and me later to go to sleep. Um, what is in our mouths? A mint julep. It's, not, it's a fucking <laughs> strawberry mint gin. And tonic <laughs> makes me mad. I put in so much work. I work so hard. I slave. That's it for the bit. I don't know. You, what, what do you expect? I don't know. Tom, what are your? You you don't fuck around with gin. The only times you fuck around with gin is when I, I make a drink. A sip yet? Okay, but but I'm just trying to get a little little background, a little history. I like strawberry. Okay. And I like mint. Okay. Not what I asked. You don't fuck around with gin. Unless Correct. I make it, right? Correct. Okay. So this is pretty good. Gin and tonic. Light, healthy. Clink it up, baby. It's okay to digest or ingest mint, by the way. I'm not worried about that. What are you worried about? Got sushed. Yeah, did. I you am a woman here. Oh no. So the gin comes up uh -huh. after, like the the taste of gin comes up like after the. Uh, yes. 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 After the mint, after the uh, mint and strawberry flavor. Right. Yeah, that's gonna end fucking like a no, fart in good. church. It's in, the, it's in the corner of the couch right now. It's okay. really super duper safe. Yeah, this dumbass is gonna shift and it's well, gonna listen, go I all over. Have three screens open now, so yeah. there you go. You got two screens open, fool. Uh, this one. Oh, uh, <laughs> are you paying attention to the TV, you idiot? No, but it's open. Yeah, say that. You know, man. Oh man, a lot of a lot of shenanigans going on in the studio today. Yeah. Weekday recording, everybody. Yep, joy. Joy's a weekend recording. Wow. What? Anyway, we got a lot of Blitzkrieg what? news to talk about, <laughs> and we got San Diego Comic-Con news to talk about. That we're going to hit sporadically. I don't know. Maybe we'll just push it to the end, fill it in. I don't know. You notice there's a distinct lack of d specific Built San thing. Diego com Oh, my God. Cement. Of San Diego Comic-Con news on the outline, Tommy. So, what do you want to do? This is some live... We'll Live planning. It. We'll wing it. I love it. What's the what's the Rude Boys motto? We'll figure it out. Exactly. So let's go into Blitzkrieg News. Starting off in games as we always do. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic? Yes, you yeah. got it. Remake delayed indefinitely. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, issues going on at the... <laughs> now I really played it on the sensitive mic. <laughs> that would have came up normal volume. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of issues going on at the uh, development house that's uh, doing the remake of KOTOR. Um, and, uh, yeah, kind of uh, pretty high profile, too, which is weird. It's a Star Wars game, you know? They would think that, like, the people over at Disney would be freaking out, but... Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. GTA 6 to feature a Latina protagonist and should be out. Fiscal year. Oh, that's what the F1. Yes, it does. Of 2023. So between April 2023 to March 2024. So I, that, that that's obviously some investor bullshit to be like, Rockstar is like, oh, boy, hey, listen, right. listen, between that time when, when you want us to make money, there'll be a new GTA. Yeah. And it's going to it's gonna star a lady, and she's going to be Latina. Cool. Yeah, whatever. And pr- presumably also going to be in Vice City, like the Miami thing. And there's uh, all rumors, obviously, right. and speculation, but like it, it, in Vice City, and like they're going to add more cities and shit. So, I don't know. Interesting. All right. I mean, they keep re-releasing GTA V, and that keeps selling, so. Why keep, you know. Yeah, just keep on going. Plus, like the, cow. yeah, plus like the, the GTA Online. Grand Theft Online, GTO, I don't know. It's five, right? GTA five online. I think it's just the online portion, but whatever. It, they're making a lot of money, so but you know they're they're looking to do it. So next set of Mac eight tracks coming eight four. Mac eight? I don't know. You put MK eight. MK eight. Mario Kart eight. Oh. Deluxe even. Well, then, you know, what are you that fucking lazy? You gotta make it look like Mortal Kombat 8. This I'm is like, Blitzkrieg News! Blitzkrieg why, News! Why are we talking about Mortal Kombat 8? There was Kombat no Mortal Kombat 8, also. Why are we talking about Mortal Kombat 8? That's not funny. Uh, uh, Mario Kart 8 tracks for the Booster Pass. Booster Pass? Booster Class? Booster Badge? Booster... New tracks coming out August 4th. What uh, video game uh, music are they having? What video game music are they having? Said tracks. Oh, these are race tracks. Uh, Mario Kart yeah, 8 yeah, is no. a racing game. No, I don't I, know if you know that. Uh, so you can, uh, speaking in the parlance you, you of can, racing games, that's what tracks you means. You can also unlock music in Mario Kart 8. Well, I mean, the music comes with the tracks. So technically, we're both right. <laughs> which is the best kind of right. Are we? Yes. I, I'm talking racetracks. You're talking soundtracks. Well, you they both they both come. <sighs> Moving on to comics. Moving on to comics. So some some San Diego Comic Con talk. Yeah. And this Joe Fix. It. Imagine we have comic book news. Yeah. Joe Fix it is going to fix the Hulk. I don't think he is. Apparently, yeah. Joe. But it's Peter David, right? Peter David's writing a a, a Joe Fix It miniseries. Yep. Neat. Uh, I mean, I I mean that's pretty cool. Um. No, I know. I I think that was my introduction to, like, you know, first Talking Hulk. First Talking Hulk, yeah. got you, okay. Because yeah. uh, I didn't read Infinity Gauntlet until I was... Was Joe Fixit Hulk? Oh, to- oh, you just mean Talking Hulk. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm no, sorry. No, Professor Hulk was Hulk in Infinity Gauntlet. Right, he, w- he was known as Professor Hulk. He was in oh. that iteration, I got yeah. you. I really enjoyed that whole, like scene with him and Wolverine talking about their fights when they were on the roof of um, for, for, of the Baxter building. In Wolverine? Wolverine and the Hulk. In the comics. And in, oh, okay, in yeah. Infinity Gauntlet we're talking oh. about their See, I didn't read Infinity fights. Gauntlet. No? Nope. Hmm. Have the omnibus and everything. Really? Really. Oh. What a fake fan, right? With the gauntlet, with the gauntlet. Where's the gauntlet? Yeah, but where's the oh, I don't bottle know. cap opener? That's that. That's your problem. I know. Oh, fish sticks. <sighs> Ooh, you finished at the same time. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Extreme X Men is returning. We were just Cri- talking about this too. With Chris Claremont. Yep. Is going to be uh, writing it and yes. Sal LaRocca. With- I apologize if that's... Salvador LaRocco. Yes. That was close. That was close. Yeah. So the original team. Yep. That's cool. Um, I was a fan of that. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I just... <laughs> Dead stared. Registered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Omni- scanning for sarcasm. Scanning for sarcasm. <laughs> Clean. And the Omnibus is in my... Uh... Is in my shopping cart. Nice. On. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you were big up on uh, Extreme X Men, and they also. I just saw on Amazon that they actually have an onslaught omnibus. Oh yeah, of course. I'm sure that would. Na- it's. it's I think it's like a hundred. Because yeah. it collects not just the X books, but fanta- everything. See, that's the problem with me going back and getting these omnibuses. Because like I have all the, I have the four collected trades of, um, Age of Apocalypse. Let's say right. Right. And like at that time. It was everything, you know. Yeah. It was it was the books. It was a couple books leading up to it, and 
the the what was it like a month worth of X books that turned yeah. into Age of Apocalypse. Same thing with Onslaught. Onslaught yeah. I have all the the trade not the trades but the the editions that are yeah. in it. But like I don't, know, I don't really need the omnibus for that. That when when I picked up Infinity Gauntlet, I don't even own Infinity Gauntlet at all. Well, it's good for people who who want everything. Don't have the onslaught. No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So it's not I'm being selfish. You, no, I'm being selfish. Hundred yeah. percent. Uh, before we before we leave comic book news, <clears throat> though, um, so just some other things that I talk about. Um, you know what's going on with this dark web stuff? Oh, not where people okay. are downloading our podcast illegally. I'm talking about the uh, the, the next the Spider-Man, Spider-Man stuff, and right? X-Men crossover. Oh, I didn't realize. X-Men, really. I guess X-Men is a person. Was a, uh, Spider-Man X-Men. Yeah, so Ben Riley, who's now the character known as Chasm, who's like some weird, corrupted, demonic version of Spider-Man. Uh, is teaming up with Madeline Pryor, the Goblin Queen. Why is Ben Riley such a piece of shit? Why is he such a piece of fucking garbage? I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. Sorry, he's garbage. Why do you say that? He's one of Spider-Man's greatest villains. He's one of his greatest villains. Absolutely. Mm, no, not in a, not in a long shot. Not in the world where Norman Osborn and Otto Octavius and Eddie Brock all figure into as and granted a, all those people have you know come and gone as villains and, and ebbed and flowed but like I don't know, know. it seems like Ben Riley has been his villain for the longest time for the longest time out of those three names I just mentioned maybe Eddie Brock take off the because he can't he, he, he showed up later but like Octor the Octor Doctor Octopus, Doctor Doctor Octopus, Doctor Doctor, and Green Goblin. Calling really? Doctor Doctor <laughs> calling Octopus, Ali <laughs> Octopus. Um. Anyway, the yeah. The, the, so these two weird duplicates of main protagonists. Like the gold. Isn't there like a gold goblin? There's gonna be a gold. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but that's what's happening. So you got like basically, I don't know. They're they're introducing a new character. Or something. I don't know. Some weird Halloween style character. Not like Halloween like we're going to talk about. But like Halloween like. You know. I don't, I don't know. She's called Trick or Treat. I don't fucking know what her name is. Maybe it's just Halloween. I don't know. But anyway. That's cool. Halloween. Like when, when do you get like a good X-Men Spider-Man crossover? That hasn't happened in a bit. Right? Well. Inferno what? obviously. There, there, there was. But like Inferno was like a tie in. Yeah. One of Spider-Man's villains is actually crossing over to uh. X Men during the whole uh, Avengers X Men Eternals. And who is that, Tommy? Craven. Apparently, Craven's going to be hunting Wolverine down. Sure. And I'm okay. like, really, Craven? Of all the mutants you're going to go for, oh, you're going to go awesome. for probably the hardest one to fucking kill. Gotta go for big. Gotta go big. Craven's gonna, Craven uh, goes big. Wolverine's going to fucking kill him. Well, actually, it wouldn't be the I, first time that he died. Actually, I think I may have the picture. It's. Like Craven, just I he's on he's on some sort of animal. I don't want to say a T Rex because if it's not, I'm gonna be the fool of the show. Actually, speaking of Craven, Tommy, uh, so we're talking about original. Uh, oh fuck! It is creative a uh, original creative teams coming back up. Uh, John David Teus. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty dope. <laughs> he is on a T Rex. I was right. Holy shit! Uh, that is his name, right? J D Mateus. He was the guy who did um, J M. David Mateus. Uh, they're doing Craven's Lost Hunt, oh. which is uh, some weird limited series that dive into Craven's origins, revealing secrets, and answering mysteries. Spidey fans have been waiting for. I don't know if they have been waiting for that specifically. You know, it's like getting mail. You're like, oh yeah, okay. No, I, was, yeah. I wasn't waiting for that, but okay, cool. I mean, if it's good mail, yeah. Yeah, no, and it's, it's the original team, so you know, can't can't argue with that. That is all comic news I have. That is pertinent to the nation. I mean, there was much more comic news, but I think there was some DC shit that DC actually decided to show at. Uh, I think they're doing 30th uh, anniversary of uh, Death of Superman, to some sort of uh, I think I collected kill, edition. Are they kill him again? Maybe they will. You know, gotta bring it back up. Yeah. What else um, we got, Tommy? Movies. Movie talk. Lots of trailer talk. Lots of trailer talk. Yep. Uh, starting off with Halloween ends. This looks. I don't know. It's a Halloween movie. It's, they got me. I'll fucking watch it because I'm a sucker and they got me by the balls. Hopefully it comes out on the Peacock. So, Well, the first one came. Well, not the first one, but the... Uh-huh. Yes, okay, cool. You know Halloween what I was getting Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills. Comes out on, you know, hopefully it comes out on the cock. 
That'd be cool. Gak. Uh, it looks fine. Jamie Lee Curtis fighting Michael Myers. Tale as old as time. Yep. Song as old as rhyme. 30 plus years. Maybe more. I can't finish that song. I don't have another word to go with that. <laughs> wow, that's a real... That's a, that's, that's, a, that's a thumbs down on that drink. <laughs> What happened? Something, something. Oh. Yeah, well, some. Too much stuff going on in this. Oh, yeah, maybe. It's, 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 <laughs> it's tasty. Don't get me wrong. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I was going to add more strawberry, but I was like, I think that's plenty. Yeah. No, strawberry would be fine. The fucking mint? I don't need to be sucking on mint. Mm. <sighs> What's wrong with that? Um, what other trailers we got, Tommy? Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Yep, it's coming out uh, March of next year, I believe. Yes. On the list. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's got like Chris Pine. It's got your, your very typical uh, Dungeons & Dragons uh, gang going on. You got your bard, you got your thief, you got your warrior, your elf that transforms into things. I don't know what that class is. Mage? Shifter. Shifter, I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, it looks looks neat. Looks uh pretty pretty silly, pretty good fun. Um, if they take it seriously, that's cool. If they do the the fucking reveal post credits, is gonna be a bunch of dorks sitting in the room. You know, Stranger Things tie in. Who knows? That'd be cool. Uh, probably not, but eh, whatever. Another franchise everybody can lock their fucking teeth into. Maybe, maybe. Um, but coming out of San Diego Comic Con though. Trailer talk. Yeah. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever, Comes baby. Comes out November 2023. There you go. Well, no, this year. 2022. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. That's I, a real early trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there Ooh, was it looks a, great. There, there, there was another... There's a Marvel movie that comes out Tom November next year, and I totally... I got I got that mixed up. Um, But yeah, looks pretty dope. It does. Right? Um, very uh in the shadows of who is in the Black Panther yes uh, costume. I'm I'm just I'm excited to see some fucking some Namor, um, going to war, like because he's a he's a fucking dick man. Yeah. Namor's a fucking dick. Apparently we're gonna see Doom. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of that. Doom might be the one manipulating. Namor's everything. not always a dick. That's Namor is like sixty forty a dick. Not. I mean, not when he's working with Captain America. Yeah. Captain America keeps him on the straight and narrow. He, I think in the first book of Marvel Comics back in the 30s or whatever, he killed people because they were in his in his realm. Like divers. He just killed them. What was this it's kind before, of a dick. Was this before or after uh, he fought alongside Captain America? I mean, before, but still. 60-40. I'm not saying he's always a dick, but he's mostly a dick. One of the most heart wrenching things I, I, I I've seen of uh Namor is that like it was like it, it was a story that they just did uh like a few years back of uh the invaders. Again, we're mm-hmm. all like to got together yeah. again. Yeah. And you see Namor, he actually has PTSD because he comes Oh yeah, a, you did mention that something. He comes yeah. across like a um a burning building. Nice. Yeah, I, don't know what I, going for. I was trying to go over Sam, but yeah. it didn't happen. Sam fucking dejected you. Yeah, dejected. Um, rejected. Yep. Um, <laughs> and like he was just kind of like you know he was kind of freaking out with seeing people like running out of this burning building like on fire and shit. Like, so yeah, you know what? Neymar has some issues, and that's okay because that just shows you that he's still he's a man. I still don't know how I feel about the septum piercing. Throws me off. I like that they they are kind of leaning more into Aztec, sure, um, culture. And I appara- guess for for Atlantis, which may not be Atlantis, I don't know. And apparently the um, like the Atlantean warrior woman, you uh-huh. like warrior woman, you see uh-huh. that is going to be Namorita. Namorita, right? Okay, which is Namor's cousin, right? And yes, nation. The reason. All the Atlanteans are blue is because Marvel's Atlanteans are blue. The reason Namor is not blue is because he's a half-breed. Yes. Actually, and he's also a mutant. He's, I was going to say he's actually a triple breed. Well, again, <laughs> see, that's the thing. That's something that they don't really talk about a whole lot because, like, 
you know, like, you have all these different cultures and races and stuff in the Marvel Universe, but then, like, you know, hey, fuck, they could all be mutants, right? Isn't there a mutant in humans also? Like, like... Yeah, that's the guy who kind of started the whole Inhumans vs. X-Men. Oh, okay. Because, like, he... I don't know. He was he like I think John was able, McGuffin is his name. I think he was able to see essentially. I think he was able to see the future or some shit. That was like Civil that. War too, wasn't it? Wasn't that wasn't <sighs> I the think it was Civil that War too, Yeah, another yeah. stellar crossover. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah. So so Wakanda Forever is closing out Phase Four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Phase Four, Five, and Six. Kevin Feige. Uh, mentioned is going to be called the multiverse saga yes uh in addition to the infinity saga which was phases one through three um and then he did go over some release dates tommy so i got this right up ready to go phase five kicking off february 2023 with ant-man and the wasp quantumania um some trailer news came about that because none of this stuff was out it was all just shown and you know bullshit fucking camera footage because we live in the stone age but whatever calm down uh, it's gonna have Kang. It's gonna have <laughs> uh, not to be mistaken with Krang. Not to be confused with Krang. I'm gonna do a rest of Blitzkrieg news as Krang. <laughs> I will not do that. Uh, it's gonna have Modok apparently in it, but it's gonna be more robotic or something like that. You did see that? You see? Did you hear who's playing Modok? Um, my former boss, Bill Murray. Is he? Bill Murray's playing Modoc. Okay, I'm okay. Because I know Bill Murray's going to be in the movie, so. I know Bill Murray's right, going to be Modoc. I dig that. Um, spring 2023, Secret Invasion. What mm-hmm. happened, Tom? Are you okay? No glass attack. Oh, yep. Came out of nowhere. Uh, apparently got a real, like, dark espionage feel to it. People saw some footage on it. That's cool. I dig that. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 coming in May 5th, 2023. It's going to have Baby Rocket. Everyone's going to be sad because he's a cute little raccoon at that time. It's going to have the High Evolutionary. Ooh. Well, we had Wondergore already. Wondergore. Echo, Summer 2023. Woo! Disney Plus, Loki Season 2, Summer 2023 as well. The Marvels. A.K.A. Captain Marvel 2. A.K.A. I guess also Ms. Marvel sequel. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's going to have the Marvel uh, the Marvel females, you know? It's going to have Captain Marvel. It's going to have Ms. Marvel. It's going to have... Spectrum. Spectrum. Thank you. That was Photon. Hey, it might have been Photon at no, one I think, point. I think you're right. It's Spectrum. No, but I think... No was, way to know! I think it was Photon at another point. Blade. Tom November 3rd, 2023. That's the movie. And uh, Ironheart coming out fall 2023. Ironheart will be in Wakanda forever. Yes. Riri Williams. Uh, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, which I could have sworn used to be House of Harkness or something. Yes, it was. It was, right? Okay. Coven of Chaos sounds a little better. Winter 2023. Um, I would have to say that's a little unnecessary, but what are you going to do? Uh, it, I mean, it It could be another tie-in to Scarlet Witch's story. It could. Which I think is what they're going to do. Yeah. All right. 18 episodes, spring 2024, Daredevil, born again. I don't know if that face is of pleasure in your pants I'm or so, I, anger. I'm so hard right oh, now. Okay, good. <laughs> 18 episodes, oofa. Which but, is so different from any oh, yeah, Disney Plus show. 100%. But he's going to be showing up in Echo. He's going to be showing up in She-Hulk. Yep. He's we'll going to be trailer. voicing Daredevil in the Spider-Man yep. show, in the like, Spider-Man uh, freshman year show, like yep. just just cocks waggling everywhere. Cox, yeah. There's Charlie so Cox. much cocks in Marvel universe right now, and then oh my god, it's gonna be so good. And and then I have a feeling that eight, those 18 episodes will probably be the end of like the Daredevil story because Charlie Cox, like, he, he Charlie Cox is getting something. old. He could pop up and stuff. Like he's been doing, or yeah. like he will be doing. Um, I, I would like them to do something like they did in, in um, season two of the Netflix show, where like it seemed like every three episodes was like almost like an arc, you know? Like they did the shit with the Punisher in the first one, and then they did the shit with the Electra, and then they did the stuff with Kingpin. Like I would, I, like do that, like segment yeah. them a little bit to make it not like one big long fucking story. Like you know, break it up, yeah. you know. Captain America, New World Order. New, 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 new world order. Not to be confused with the rude world order. Uh, May 3rd, 2024. Yes. And then closing out phase five. 
Thunderbolts, July 26th, 2024. Oh, man. That's Phase 5. And then he did, he did, 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 talk a little bit about Phase 6, which would be opening up with Fantastic Four, um, director and cast to be determined. Uh, I think it's February, so there's a big gap yeah. between July. I think February. I could just be talking it, about I, I feel like Phase 4 just kind of... Whew. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, think about this. If COVID didn't happen and we weren't delayed like a year and a half and, yeah. and, and then some, like, we'd be in Phase 5 by now. But yeah, you're right, because Phase 4 was so... Phase 4 also had a lot. Like, I mean, runtime because of the shows, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They had a lot, a lot, a lot going in there. But Phase 6, Fantastic Four... Two Avengers movies, two Avengers branded movies in Phase 6 as well. You've got uh, Avengers, uh, the Kang Dynasty, and also ending it will be Avengers Secret Wars. Which, Secret which Wars some, or Secret War? I think it was Secret War. I think it's Secret Wars. Uh, isn't both, aren't both Secret Wars? Well, no, no, no. Okay, I know Secret War is that Bendis book. Secret Wars is the '84 one and the one that was, was the I'm incursion, talking. which right, is no, probably no, going to no, be no. the case. Then yeah. I think it is Secret Wars. Yeah, I, right. yeah. Never to be said again. Cut that. Um, but yeah, so so Marvel really bringing the heat. Yeah. Like as you said, Tommy, before we uh, before we recorded. Here's a here's a Shazam trailer that was that looked fun. Cute. Still never saw the first one. Cute. Then a new Black Adam trailer. You see Doctor Fate? For some reason, I dig Doctor Fate. I'm not, I don't know jack shit oh, what he's in, oh, you, oh, and you I know the like poor man's Doctor Strange. Sure. Yeah, but isn't he more like Egyptian time? God. Also, timey wimey. You're thinking Our Man. Who the fuck is thinking Our Man? You. Nope, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, uh, but that, that's all the that's the Marvel movie goodness that we got from uh, not, not not goodness but also uh, not also movie too the TV stuff. Yeah. Apparently, The Rock came like they lowered The Rock down, like in uh, like, like Dwayne Johnson The yeah, Rock. Okay, at Comic Con. Okay, like, they lowered him down as the uh, Black Adam trailer was starting. Mm. And yeah, you know what? Weird, Rob, but okay. You know what, Dwayne Johnson, embrace the pointy ears of Black Adam. Does it not have pointy ears? I didn't catch that. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Oh, Tom's gonna pay. Pause. P P pause. All right, we took our P pause. Tom's back. Yep, yep, yep. What else we got? We're moving on to TV, Tommy. Hi, hi. Trailer talk. House of Dragon from HBO House Max coming out this August. Cool. Yeah, dragons look neat, and the show is gonna be called House of Dragons. You better see. I'm gonna I'm gonna say over under two dragons an app. At least. Yeah. If not, it's garbage. Mm-hmm. You're just waiting. You're like you, a balloon. It's overblown right now. I, right? I already, I already, I, I, I got my venting out before we went on air about it. <clears throat> I won't uh, bring it up again. She Hulk trailer. Yeah, that's neat. Neat, neat, neat. Neat looks good. Uh, Daredevil a little bit in the end of it. You think yep. he's gonna be in the yellow and red? He that's looks like it, right? What it seems. Yeah. yeah, that's what it seems. Um, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm great with that. That's actually pretty good. I like that a lot. Um, I'm glad. We did talk about this a little bit with the. Movie talk, um, but the two animated shows that aren't part of these phases that were announced, that were talked about, X-Men 97 and Spider-Man freshman year. Yes. We should talk about those. That thing looks dope. X-Men 97, continuation of the X-Men 92 series. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like you got pretty much the original, I'm going to say cast of X-Men back. Voice yeah. casts, you know, if you're still, if they're still alive, they'll be there. But, um, you know, Gambit Jubilee. I don't know why I started with Gambit, but you know, because X Men '92 was yeah. a big, you know, Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean Grey, Gambit, Rogue, uh, Beast, mm, Storm. Mm, I think that was it of the core. Uh, and then they they showed off Cable and Bishop and Forge and Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler and Morph, uh, Morph and Sunspot. Morph has like. He's in the, like, yeah, they gave the him the, like the changeling yeah. style face, which I guess yeah, whatever, don't matter. Um, but Magneto's leading him because that's what he said he was going to do in the last episode of the animated the series. Dumb M costume. Yep, 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 yep. Is that the, that's the trial for Magneto outfit, right? Yeah, okay. Which I won there full C. 
Oh, maybe. That would be a good way to redeem him, you know? Yeah, You'd be like... The only original voice uh, cast that is an obvious comeback is the voice of Cyclops and Mike because right. they both passed. Yeah, that, that's true. Um, but pretty cool. We don't know anything about it yet. We don't even know if it's really technically... See, this is the thing now. Now that everything... Now that the multiverse is ripped open, like uh, Goatsy.cx, um, that's their way of getting out of it, you know? To be like, oh, is this, is this, is this canon? Yeah. Be like, well, listen... Motherfucker, it could be part of a different universe, you know? Speaking of part of a different universe and people are backtracking. Oh, they, I uh, removed that segue. Go ahead, Tom. In, I, I, Sorry, I, buddy. Ju- I just remembered in the uh, She-Hulk trailer, oh, okay. you see a uh, Johnny Blaze poster. Yeah, people were saying that, but like, it's not the same way as Johnny Blaze is spelt. Like Johnny, J-O-H-N-N-Y. It's like J-O-N-N-Y or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I did see that Easter egg. That's I mean, whatever. It don't matter. It's a hot None take. Fuck Johnny Blaze. Wow. Th- Danny catches better. Okay. Um, Ghost Rider stuff coming to HasLab too. By the way, I know that's like etc. News, but like, yeah. Yeah, Ghost Rider. Pretty well, neat. It's his anniversary next year. Yes, fifty years. Yes. Fifty flame fucking years. Flame fucking. I don't know. Flame fucking. <laughs> there is the title of the episode. Flaming skull fucking years. How about eh, that? No. Yeah, no. no. See, that's what I would try to do, but it didn't work yeah, out. Just stop. Stop when you're ahead, guy. Hey, speaking of multiverses, Spider-Man freshman year. Because yeah. people are talking about like, is this is this his freshman year of college that we're like no. no way home entered? Is this his freshman year of high school? Also, then why is Norman Osborn there and Otto Octavius if he didn't know those names prior? You know, and people are just like, listen, guy, it's, it's a different, different universe. universe. Suck the dicks. I mean, more, I all was of them. Why Norman had oh him God. Couch. Well. <laughs> Had to pay those bills. That is a that is that is a a a uh, homage to the scene when uh, Peter Parker first meets Tony Stark because they're both on the couch together. So Tony obviously got a few steps ahead than Norman, yeah. which I mean is true. Um, but yeah, uh, but but I, I love the art style. It's got a real like uh, Ditko-y kind of look to it. Um, obviously modernized. But um, I like it. Um, yeah, th- th- this new animation, com- I guess whatever anima- animation company, because it's like it looks similar to the same animation as like X Men ninety seven. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it still looks better than anything. I think really kind of the style I'm talking about more. You know, yeah. like like I like I like that look to it. The same way, the only good redeeming part of um, the Silver Surfer show was that it was very much like Kirby cartoon, like a Jack Kirby cartoon. So. I'm I'm cool with that. Keep it a nice, consistent art style. Make it different. Don't make them all the same. Like these fucking <sighs> the Mortal Kombat movie. Remember that cartoon? And everybody's got these weird knuckles. I hate it. I hate that. You really did. That's my hot take. Uh, Mo- well, anything was, else, Tom? There was also a new trailer for uh, the show Sandman. Oh, yes. Right. How'd that go? I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> little but... more, a little more faith in it. Okay, uh, good. But there's still a countdown on Netflix for me. Right. Yep. 1649. Right? 1643. God damn it, every time. Actually, I think it's 1683. Oh my, oh my god, they got another 40 cents out of you? Fucking bastards. Oh my god, Netflix. You know what sucks about Netflix? Everything. Well, nah, I didn't want to say that. Netflix doesn't have a face, you know? Like, if you want to yell at a billionaire like a Jeff Bezos or an Elon Musk or a Mark Zuckerberg, you got a face and a name to go with that. Yeah. Netflix, you don't really got anything. Yeah, no. And, and oh man. What are you looking up? How much you get charged or uh-huh. who owns Netflix? Uh, 1683. 1683. Fucking bastards. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I saw this, I saw this amazing meme where it was like, yeah, I was telling my seven-year-old when, you know, when Netflix first started, they used to send you, uh, you know, DVDs in the mail. It's like, my seven-year-old mocked me with an old person voice, back in my day, the internet came through the That's mail. Fair. That's fair. And I'm like. That's all fair, too. <laughs> It Fuck. did. It was called Encarta. Fuck that no, wasn't the shit. internet, but it was, uh, what was the uh, GameFly was the video game. Yes, Netflix. GameFly. Yeah, GameFly. I mean, it's still out there. I just, I just don't do it anymore. Yeah. Look at the time, motherfuckers. You just buy now. <laughs> that is true. Like a, like a, like an capitalist idiot. pig. Um, both are right. Is that what pigs sound like? Oink, oink. They. Oh, it's more like it. Um, hey, did you know it's Shark Week? I don't know. <laughs> 
I thought Shark Week was last week. No, it's Shark Week's this week. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Rings of Power, the uh, Lord of the Rings series. Yeah. Saw a trailer for that. Um, I don't know. What did I say about that? I don't rem- you remember. It just looks fake. Like it doesn't look. Bl- it doesn't look blended well. Like, like, like the every- real like everything, actors. Like everything legit was done in. Like a prequel like movie. I, like everything was like, like Star you, Wars the prequel. You, you, are you gonna keep talking? I'm trying to help you get your thoughts out. It's not helping. I see that. It just really looks like hey, everything is done in front of a green screen. At least with like Peter Jackson, like mm-hmm. yes, you could tell you know there was shit done in the green right. like green screen, but right. he also went out and he actually did film in like you know s- spots of New Zealand. So it's like, I don't know. To me, it just looks too fake. It right. looks too clean. Right. I, I, I'm not a fan. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to watch it. I don't know yet either. I mean, I didn't. I, I confirmed that I'm not going to watch it. Yeah. So there's no either. That's not how that word works. What else we got? What else do we have in Blitzkrieg? What else do we have in a Blitzkrieg? Uh, Vince fucking McMahon fucking retires. Yeah, right? What the fuck, bro? He just sent sent tweet. That's it. Yeah, and then yeah. he just announced it like that. I'm like, that... what the fuck? Pretty wild. But, I mean, well, also I... unexpected. I mean, not unexpected. After not all the allegations and all this bullshit going on with him. I mean, bullshit in the sense that, like, listen, all, all men are pigs. And, uh... You know, especially the ones in power. And especially the ones that think they can get away with a lot of stuff. So, obviously, hold people accountable. Um... But pretty wild. Never yeah. thought. Never thought that would happen. I thought he to, to to his into the grave. He would be summoned into some weird homunculi and would keep booking the territory, brother. Like yeah. that's yeah, I would not think even death would not slow him down. But you know, apparently but, uh, a, a nice health, hefty lawsuit yeah. or some uh, some uh, dirty laundry coming out. We'll do it. Yeah. Eat the rich. Um, and then, like, you know, but, you know, Triple H is now running. Triple H, yeah. In addition, yeah. He, yep. So, I mean, optimistic. But I know SummerSlam. It needs a shot in the arm. I know SummerSlam is the first TV 14. Okay. And, and, and were pay per views always TV? I don't know. Um, but it, it, WWE definitely needed a shot in the arm. Yeah. That, we'll that's what, what it is. Maybe this is what it, what it takes. We'll I don't know. We'll see what happens exactly. Yeah. Uh,. Any other San Diego Comic Con news before we talk about etc.? I think that's it. I think we I think we hit all the highlights. Yeah, you know, probably so. not, but whatever. Yeah. Well, like DC, we don't show up. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> for, um, for recording day, eh, whatever. This is what you get. R I P. Uh, Paul Servino. Yes. We played Paulie from uh, Goodfellas, which I saw rec- like probably forty eight hours prior to his death, Good which job, is stupid. Listen. Well, um. Did we get a new Twitch? Subscriber? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, that's that's a that's a that shame. That sucks. I didn't realize he was actually related to Mira Servino. That's so funny. My uh, girlfriend said the same thing, was which was weird like, because I I knew that, but I didn't know who Paul Savino was. Right. You know right. what I mean? Like I knew of Mina Servino first, and then when she announced it on Twitter that her dad passed, I was just like. Oh, all right. She had a she had a father in the business, right? Like you know, but like like Hollywood kids do, right? Yeah. Um, but I did not know who it was specifically because I never saw God Goodfellas until Goodfellas uh, recently. Good. Yeah, I dug it. I kind of feel like a lot of these movies are getting lost on you because you're watching them at such an old age now. Yes, correct, correct. But so, Goodfellas held up. I I yeah. liked it. I liked it a lot enough to want to do a gangster party. Yeah, you want to kill more of them. Ah oh, man, I hope Pesci's all right. Isn't um Leota dead? Ray Leota's passed. Ray Leota's passed. Gotta you keep. Killed De Niro. I hope not. Motherfucker. I mean, this non-union scumbag making fucking uh, non using non-union labor in the boroughs. Big union guy. All right, calm down. Calm down. This is people's livelihood in stock. Anyway. Wow. Also- anyway. R.I.P. the Chocolate Tower. You're going to put these up that on the same pillar, really. You're going to end with this. The Chocolate Taco was part of my childhood, a major part of my childhood as well. That's fair. I think I've had two I've Chocolate Tacos. I've had two Chocolate Tacos my whole life. And I could probably. you 
are a They're whole. all right. There's better ice cream and tacos You're out an there. Idiot. Not together, idiot. Tom, I'm I can have both. Not at the same time. But why wouldn't you fill up on tacos and then fill up on ice cream? Why would you have to have why would you have to split the difference? Tom's storming off the stuff out of the studio. You Much anymore. like Brock Lesnar did after Vince McMahon. I don't really know you anymore. Really? Yeah. That's this is what it's coming down to. I would have said we would have stocked up on Choco Tacos, but chances are everybody went to a fucking oh, fervor. Yeah. Oh yeah, pa- yeah. Pa- oh, and pa- guess and guess what? Good humor or whatever is going to come back in a month. They're going to be like, oh, you know, we're bringing the Choco Taco back, everybody. This is new Coke all over again. Coke what? Classic. Coke Classic is better than New Coke, regardless. That's the point, Tom. They invented, they brought a new Coke for everybody to hate, yeah, so they no can one, rebrand. Yeah but, no one, yeah, but no one's like, "Oh, here's new Chaco Taco, stupid." No, they're gonna bring it back. The same. Remember that when? The, remember when the Twinkie was going away, and then I still can't find Twinkies. Are you out of your mind? Are you looking? <laughs> Are you even looking? There, I could get a Taco. I frequent fucking Seven Eleven quite, quite a lot, idiot. That's two idiots in a row. Huh? So if I can find a Twinkie. At Seven Eleven, what's the bet here? An in, uh, Instagram you, or TikTok Twinkie smash? Twinkie smash? So smash it on your face? Yeah. All right. Maybe. Hold on. All right. I'll think about it. Well, it's in audio form, so there we go, everybody. <laughs> I'm hold them to, to it. I'm have to scout things. Oh, <laughs> we might, right after this recording, we're gonna have to go go to the <laughs> subs. You're gonna have to go drive me to Seven every, real quick. We're gonna go buy every Twinkie. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna go to one Seven Eleven. Okay. Okay. Just one. I'm not gonna go hunt. Okay. Because I don't care. But we're gonna go to one. I'm not gonna be like in my lifetime if I ever find a Twinkie at a Seven Eleven. I'm gonna smash in your face. That would be actually pretty funny and random and also like, 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 like an assassin's coming for you, Tom. Just, just. Returning in the morning, I get up. Exactly. Knock, knock, knock on my door. Yeah, Chris, I'm there. I smash, and you just drive away. All right, here's the deal. All right, here's the deal. What's it, July? Uh huh. How about give me a month to find a, 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 a to find. A Twinkie at a Seven Eleven. It has to be a Hostess Twinkie, not a fucking. No, it's not, go, no, no. It's not gonna be a, 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 a It's gonna be a Twinkie brand yeah, Twinkie. It's not gonna be, I don't it's not gonna be like a zinger like or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Twinkies. Yeah, you pay extra for that one. <laughs> um, but I, I will get a Twinkie purchased from a Seven Eleven with a receipt. I'll give you a receipt, so you know, and I'll just smash it in your face. Gotta have the cowboy on it. The cowboy? Yeah, I don't know if the, I don't man. know if the I don't know if that 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 might be. I I can't guarantee that. It's gonna be Twinkie brand. I can tell you that much. It's not gonna be a, a, an off brand. It's gotta be you hosted. deserve. It's got. Does I mean again? But see, this sounds like some legal mumbo jumbo you're giving me right now. I, I, look, Blitz Creek news off the rails. Look, what look, a shock! Look, this is like the, what we do in the shadows when they're trying to make the deal with the genie to give Nandor his big penis. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Okay. So Hostess, the brand Hostess has survived, and they put out Twinkies. All right. So I need to find a Twinkie, <laughs> which is Hostess brand. I cannot guarantee it'll have the cowboy, even though this no, box of course, of course. from Target. <laughs> Uh, not a whole box gets smashed. No, face. no, no, no. It'll, what? Be, it'll be an individually wrapped. Why do I have a feeling you Twinkie? Uh, why do I have a feeling I saw a Twinkie upstairs in the kitchen? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. I've got a month. I might forget. I won't. Anyway, is that it for Blitzkrieg news? <laughs> and if I find a Choco Taco, I get smashed in your face. Fair. All right, Tom, you want to uh, do some Rude Boys catch-up? Uh, I've been doing a ton, so you want you want to knock out yours real quick? Tell yeah. I speaking, played... of, speaking of Twinkies and Choco Tacos, sounds like somebody's got a sweet tooth. Yeah, I played uh, wa- I played Warner Brothers Multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> why, do you hate, why do you cosmically hate all my segues? <laughs> it's, like, it's like some inevitability. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I did that one just to fuck with you. It was good. Because <laughs> you saw it coming a mile away. 
All right. Yeah, uh, multiverses, right? <laughs> That's, oh boy, Tom's out. Tom's dead. Uh, <laughs> what is it called? It's called Warner, what is it called? Warner Brothers Multiverses? Yeah, but it's like spell, it, it's... Verses, like, like no, not actually, verses. It's, not. Versus. It's, it's, it's multiverses, like V-E-R-S-E-S. Like verses to yeah. fight, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No. Like yes. multiverse. Multiverses. No. No. Now yes. I'm questioning. See? Now I'm questioning. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking download it on the eShop right now. You don't have to. I, I saw it. And you can just look at the title. It's not on, uh... It's not on Switch. It's not on Switch. Right. It's on, uh, PS5. Or oh, God. PS5. Getting back up again. Making Chris work out. Oh, boy. Fucking... Oh, okay. No, we're good. There we go. All right, we're back. So t- tell us a little bit about... That one didn't turn on. And I sat down for a third time? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a world this is. I would have laughed. You did laugh. So tell Harder. us a little bit about the game, Tommy Boy. It's... It, 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 it's like... It's like it, a platform fighter, right? Yeah, like a, a Smash Brothers? Fighter, like a Smash Brothers. Smash Bro- Brothers. Uh, Brohalla. Multiverses, V E R S U S. Huh, I must have read it wrong last night oh, then. Oh, no, I'm, I'm I wrong. A, I made a mistake. Uh, you know, it has you, like, I did the tutorials, and you, you're, you know, you're fighting a Shaggy, because apparently Shaggy's, like, the most powerful person. Shaggy. Uh, it's three ninety nine ninety nine if you want, like, the Founders Pack, which I don't, I don't know. that. Um, why? Mine was free. Ooh. I don't know. Whatever. It's not worth it. Um, <laughs> it's very okay. Uh, next time you're old. It's not free. It's not worth it. I mean, animation-wise, I think it looks like... It, yeah, that's what it, I want. I really want to cool. check that out. Um, oh, yeah, they only got the fucking Founders Pack. Yeah, I, on uh, the PlayStation Store, it had the free version. Because mm. um, I downloaded it on my PS4. Uh, it, it was... I think it's fine. Right. It's okay. Like whatever. There's no there's no story mode, which kind of bugs me. Right. Um. Even though Smash Bros. really doesn't have a story mode. I mean, it does, yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I, um. Much. Nothing like the. Uh, what the fuck was the? Uh, oh, there you go. Free. There we go. I'm a big fan. Free of, is for me. I want a story mode. Yeah. Like, but I guess for what we're getting. Like and they're gonna be adding more characters. Yeah, it's it's bare bones. Then it's fine. So what are you gonna do? Um, it's bare bones. Yeah, and they want to nickel and dime you with um, and you can, everything. So and you can like get stuff through like events and stuff. Okay, that they're gonna be doing so neat. Yeah, I think right now I think I have Superman, Shaggy, and Wonder Woman unlocked only. Okay, it would be okay. really cool if like like they add the Winchester brothers. Yeah, there were, I, I saw some like rumors and stuff. Again, that was all just like you know, it was it was a video I saw that it really mirrored back in the day when people wanted a uh, fantasy Smash Brothers roster. Yeah, um, they did something like that, of like from Supernatural and and the Matrix and like a whole bunch of other different franchises that are like, whoa, okay, I guess I guess they do all own that. Warner Brothers does, yeah. um, but I don't. That's not the case as of now. No, no Supernatural characters to be seen. You have Arya Stark in here. Yep. Um, Batman. Uh, Wonder Woman. Shaggy. Yep. Um, yep. A weird moose dog. Moose Steven dog? Universe. Yeah. Steven Universe. Harley Quinn. Yep. Um, Tom and Jerry. Yep. So yeah, it, it, like I said, it's it's okay. You're not going to like it. I'll give it a shot. I think uh, the animation, I think, is, is pretty neat yeah. from what I've seen. So. And uh, I also watched I also watched the uh, show on Netflix, uh, Sweet Tooth. Mm. This is about Netflix. a play. Yeah, well, I gotta get you know, gotta, gotta fucking gotta make that money worth have, it. Have you know? sixteen eighty three worth it? Exactly. I mean, you um, binge through Stranger Things, all of it, all of it. Yeah, I was gonna do the same thing with Umbrella Academy, and then I realized I don't give a shit about these characters. Wow, you were really high on Umbrella Academy, yeah, like first from season. Saw, from what I saw of wow. season three, I was like, I don't Ugh. give a fuck about any of these people. Right. I don't. I I can do without them. Huh. All right. Honestly, that's how I felt about uh, Stranger Things season four, originally, and then like it won me over. Yeah. But, no. Yeah, I mean, I watched enough of the uh, 
what they had on um of season three, and I was like, whatever. Okay. Good. That's, good. Hey, listen, if it kind of sunsets on you, that's fine. Good for you, kids. Um. And then, uh, but Sweet, Sweet Tooth. Tooth is about a it. The world is suffering from a plague. Documentary, got it. Huh? Yeah. It's a documentary. So the plague starts kind of like dying out, but okay. then there are kids being born with, they're called hybrids. Okay. And they look, they have, like, you can have a kid that looks like a, a you know, a baby and mixed with a bird. So it's got feathers and a beak. That's horrific. Sweet Tooth, a.k.a. Gus. Okay. Was the first hybrid. Okay. He is a deer. Uh, Will Forte is in it. He plays his father. Are you, how do you feel about Will Forte? Well. Oh, no. I was like, <laughs> I, I was sitting there. I was like, Will Forte, Will Forte. Who the fuck I'm is Will Gruber. Forte? I was like, oh, that's right. He, whenever he gets an erection in How I Met Your Mother, he gets a bloody nose. Oh, oh wow. You, we sat we sat through the MacGruber movie. Oh shit, that's MacGruber. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't mind Will Forte. MacGruber was funny. MacGruber was funny, but I'm like, you pulled it from How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't make the connection that funny. he was MacGruber. It's too funny because he's a he's a great actor, obviously. Yeah, right? no. not that you would not have assumed that Will Forte was MacGruber. Yeah. Um. So sweet tooth. But yeah, like, you know, he can... Are they voices? Is re- this is live action? It's live action, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. And, like, it's cool, because, like, you you know, him and, uh, you know, Gus and his father end up, like, pretty much sheltering away, and then, you know, there are there, there are poachers who are looking for hybrids, because there's a secret government agency who wants the hybrids because they can't get the sick, is what they oh, call it. it's about the secret, the secret government. Yep. Um, so, like, you know, they want to either kill them or use them. Um, and thing is, a lot of the hybrids, they can't talk. Okay. You know, because when they're born, their parents are like, uh, fuck you. So they never, like, send yeah. them to school. Yeah. Sweet Tooth's father. All Penguin to- from Batman Returns. Exactly. Sweet right. Tooth's father taught him how to talk read write okay same with another character named wendy who is a little pig girl oh um got it I'm looking forward to the second season hopefully netflix doesn't yeah. cancel it how many uh, episodes eight i Our didn't reach eight about anywhere between 45 and 55 minutes okay and i was just like yeah i'm, I'm like I'll, I'll nurse this i ended up i started it sunday afternoon i ended up finishing it Sunday at, at 11 p.m. Wow, okay. I was like, holy pretty shit, this, this, this show should not have been as good as it was. That's pretty good. It's based off of a, a, a graphic novel? Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Very good. Cool. I enjoyed it. Wow. High you praise. Know, you know, he's able to, like, smell, like, you know, like, far away. Right. He has deer ba- oh, so they have deer, they have animal-like exactly. abilities. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, I guess deer are able to, like, their eyes kind of glow when, like, in the dark. Yeah, I mean, when, I mean, yeah. I mean, and that's, whenever that's it probably gets visual. really dark, you like he'll just open his eyes and they glow and and it like startles people. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. it's startling me right now. Yeah. Very, very, very good. Yeah, good. I'm glad to. I'm glad to hear that. It, that's pretty cool. Give it a whirl. Is it like spooky? Is it like? It's not spooky at all. No, no. I'm I'm trying to get like like what the vibe is. Is it like? Is it like like? It's heartfelt. It's heartfelt. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know. He ends up teaming up with like a you know a reluctant guardian. Okay. And he you know also like he kind of builds his own party. Okay. With, like people he meets. So. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, been up to. All new, right. New, new character. Oh my god. No. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. I've actually made three new characters. That's about right. Uh, what I've been up to. Yes. Um, we talked about I saw Goodfellas. Really liked it. Uh, one of one of Martin Scorsese's uh, flicks. Um, good movie. I dug it. I, I, I get it now. You know, because uh, I used to I used to watch on Animaniacs. You had the Good Feathers, which is the three pigeons that were Tom's ready to beat the shit out of me, beat the ever loving shit out of me. No, but I mean now I get like the the Joe Pesci character and the the Nero character. You know what I mean? So. Um, we also watched, me and my girlfriend watched, uh, Under the Banner of Heaven. This is a Hulu show, um, starring Andrew Garfield. Yes! 
Yes, how is this? I've been meaning to. It's pretty good. Um, it uh, it de- it's 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 a it's a adaptation of a bo- of a true crime novel um, that's based off a real case dealing with uh, uh, Mormon culture, um, which is a definitely an interesting wrinkle into all this stuff. Other, if you took all that out, it would just be a pretty much like a true crime drama, you know, or documentary or whatever you want to say. Um, but because they added that um, wrinkle of religion, then it was able to kind of like, you know, now there's morality. Now there's people in crisis, people, you know, doing this, doing that for whatever reasons, you know. Hey, listen, organized religion is a fucking mistake. It's all cults. Sorry. It is. Yep. Um, and if you want to, like, you watch this show and you'll be like, God damn it is. God damn it is. Yeah. The only cult everybody should be with is... No, the cult of the Root Nation, and you should be downloading all our episodes and subscribing to our podcast and liking and following and doing all the stuff. Following us, follow us. God told me you should follow us. Boom, done. Um, that's pretty much all I watched. I played a lot of games. Finished up the Secret of Monkey Island special edition uh, on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash rudeboys four six nine. Uh, Secret of Monkey Island. Rude Boys be streaming. Did the whole thing. We found out the Secret of Monkey Island. Or did we? I don't know. You're going to have to go to our YouTube to find out. B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash Rude Boys Rude Tube all lowercase. What do you say? I still don't know what the secret was. That's kind of the joke. The joke is that n- th- it, there is no secret. And it actually... So, I'm going to play this week as per posting, as per recording. I'm sorry. Um... I'm going to get into LeChuck's Revenge, Monkey Island 2. And it does divulge a little bit more of the secret of Monkey Island. So we're going to have to just find out together, Rude Nation. Twitch.tv forward slash RudeBoys469. Follow that. Follow our Instagram to find out when we're going to be streaming next. What's that face, Tommy? What's the matter? Nothing. What's the matter? Nothing. All right. I think something's always wrong. I don't know. You got a little mischievous grin on you. All right, cool. Um, I wouldn't be me if I didn't. That is true. Played on Game Pass this game called Escape Academy. Escape Academy is just a series of room escape games uh, in a video game format. Almost like, picture Hogwarts, but instead of magic, it's all room escapes. So they're all like escape artists and stuff like that. It's a very small, it's a very short game. Um, maybe like 10 rooms, air quotes, to escape from, or levels to escape from. So it's like, now you see me. I was, I honestly, yeah, I was thinking that too, okay. a little bit, uh, not as I was playing it, but as I was explaining it. Um, a lot of fun. I thought pretty cool, pretty cool puzzles. Uh, no, no like repeats or anything like that. I only got stumped once, and it was fucking retarded. Like it was something that like you needed to spell out a word, and then like, like they do it twice, and all the letters are in capital. You know what I mean? And then the third time, some of them are in lowercase. And it's just like, well, what the fuck? You can't just change the rules on me like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they did. So whatever. Um, but that was a fun game. Portal, speaking of puzzle games, Portal the Companion Collection came out to Switch uh, a couple weeks ago. Downloaded it that day. Played through Portal, which is the first one. Came out through the orange box. And it's also, like, you know, downloadable separately on, like, 360 or whatever the fuck. Um still a solid puzzle game uh i can't wait to play through portal 2 again single player at least might have to drag you through that journey again i will um but i haven't played portal 2 ever since the game came out so excited about that played unmetal glad one of us unmetal is this game on the eShop. it's kind of like a parody of metal gear solid or really metal gear metal gear um That's another one, yeah. Oh my, there, yeah, there's that levels. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, it it it's kind of told through a narration. So the character you play as is telling the story of his adventure, and then some points when he narrates, he'll be like, "I came into the room, and there were," and then you can you can choose what's happening. So like, there's this one part where you fight a monster, and it says like two, four, and six. And those are the number of tentacles that the monster is going to have. 
that will obviously be a hindrance to you. You know what I mean? If you pick a higher number, you would think, right? So if I if you had two, options of two, four, and six, and you knew because you played it already that th- this would make the boss harder, you would probably pick the lower number, right? No, I would pick six. Okay, so that's funny because I picked two, and he said two dozen. And then when he said four, it was four pairs. So it's like, okay, you're just fucking with me right now. I didn't check. I'd imagine just six, because I feel like that's how that's how how they were doing it. Uh, but it was pretty funny. Uh, I got it for cheap on the eShop because it was uh, it was a bunch of sales. So I was like, yeah. fuck it, let's let's go. And I I, I enjoyed it. Uh, and we're gonna do a Metal Gear podcast one time this year. What are you looking at? That's why you see all those Metal Gear games on my desk, on my desk, on my table. Tom is smashing the microphone into his head. I hate vamp. Vamp. <laughs> Panzer Dragoon Remake. I started this game a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, whatever. No, it's not. This is the this is like the on rail shooter, a la Star Fox. Oh, okay. It came out on the eShop a while ago, and it was bad, and then they fixed it, and it was fine. Um, it's it was fine. Like it was like honestly, it was like six levels. So I'm like, thank God, put it to bed. It was it was perfectly fine, um, and that's what I've been playing. I did read. This uh, collected edition called Spider-Man Full Circle. Oh, how was that? This was a lot of fun. You know about Full Circle? I've heard. I've heard of it. So Full Circle was a... I don't know if they were like issues or something like that. I'm going to call them issues. Uh, let's say 10 issues. There were 10 issues. And each issue was a different writing and arting... Arting? Drawing? Drawing team uh, per issue. So it starts off with like Jonathan Hickman... And uh, he writes, and then, like, other people pick it up, like Zeb Wells or Chip Zdarsky or um, uh, Nick Spencer and um, Dan Slott, I think, is on there. Um, and they just have to take the story from where it gets left off. Um, and it's it's very silly because of that, because it's like you can't get real hardcore into storytelling if you're going to be just like, you can't fuck the next guy, basically. You gotta ha- You got to set something up, but also be like, Put your own stamp of approval on it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Quick read, Tom. I just let you borrow it. Um, and then you, you'll bang it out in, probably in a day, you know? A lot of fun. Um, and that is all I've been up to. What have you been up to, huh? All I've been up to. Let's talk about some Ninja Turtles, Tommy. Oh, we're actually gonna do Ninja Turtles. We are actually going to do Ninja Turtles. I don't think we're going to do much about Ninja Turtles, but we're going to do some some stuff about Ninja Turtles. You know what I'm saying? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Ah, see, I think you know what's funny. You did put me on the spot. Um, I am, I am definitely in the anyone but Michelangelo camp. Um, I'm gonna. What was that? Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about Les Ronin too. Uh, no, it wasn't because that was a more adult. I think it's the 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 early '80s, actually late '80s cartoon uh, portrayal of Michelangelo. Okay, you know, like I was just oh, even as a kid, I was but like, was this, party, this guy's a fucking slacker. Also, I never really dug orange. You know, I, like the like blue, purple, red. I dig those colors. Green, obviously. So like. Who's my favorite? Well, Raphael was the first toy, like literally the first toy I ever remember getting. So, I mean, I I'm, I was growing up, like I've, obviously I had toys, but that was the first one I was like, wow, right, right. you know what I mean? Like that was that. Uh, Leonardo swords, uh, Donatello machines, you know, like I I I'm, I can rotate between those three. Um, but uh, yeah, anyone but Michelangelo, even though nunchucks are pretty cool. I'm a Michelangelo fan. Oh, so, see, there you go. I'm a Michelangelo. You're anyone. <laughs> Only. I'm a Michael Michelangelo Angelo. and Donatello fan. Okay. Um, I really like the bow staff. Yeah. Yeah, that's the fun thing about Ninja Turtles is like people can either gravitate towards personality or weapon or in the um, the cartoon, uh, the colors. You know what I mean? So that's a lot of fun. But real quick history lesson. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm already fucking it up right now. Uh, Kevin Eastman and Pete Laird, I think his name is. Yes. 
got together, created Mirage Studios, drew some Ninja Turtles, drew some turtles who were also ninjas, teenagers and teenagers and mutants as well. And uh, yeah, that like obviously very heavily inspired by uh, uh, Frank Miller and Jack Kirby. Came up with the story, dark, gritty. Also, they're giant turtles, so like, yeah. Led by a giant rat. Led by a giant rat fighting ninjas. Fuck yeah. Did that. Sold the rights off to Playmates because they wanted to make toys and a cartoon. They did that. That was like 87, I believe. Mm -hmm. 88 was the first movie, which took a little bit of everything at that point. It took, you know, gave them the, the, the colors of the bandanas and like the personalities. And, you know, it was dark. I've only seen that movie once, actually. Every time I ever saw that movie, it fucking like blew me away where I was just like, holy shit, this is. Th- 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 this is a cartoon brought to life, right? Like it, it just—it made me so happy. And that definitely, that and Batman '89 definitely kind of paved the way to the um, that greenlit a lot of movies mm-hmm. of that ilk, uh, like notoriously uh, Super Mario Brothers. But you know, what do you mean? they're not all winners. Well, because people were like going to be fine. like, listen, they're going to be like, oh, licenses, hell yeah, what yeah. do we got? You know, and, you know, win some, lose some, but. I've only seen that movie once. Really? Secret of the Ooze is my jam, though. Secret of the Ooze is really I love good. that movie. And, and cause I, I mean, I'm sure that they definitely, like, dumbed it down. I mean, fucking Vanilla Ice is in it. Um, they dumbed and it Kevin down. Nash. And Kevin Nash is super shredded, yep. The babies. babies. Every time. That's the thing that I hated is the fact that, like, they used those two characters and did it. Uh, use Rocksteady and Bebop. Well, they that wanted so the so the story is they wanted to, but uh-huh. Eastman and Laird were like, no, really? yeah, because I think they they knew the movie was kind of going a little more childish, even though like Bebop and Rocksteady were goofs in the cartoon, but like you know what I mean? Like I think they wanted to kind of keep some sort of like no, stop. So they're like, oh, we'll just make our own. That sounded that sounded good. Yeah, it was. Was still, not. Was <laughs> All right, um, but yeah, so Secret of the Use. Ninja Turtles 3 I've only ever seen once uh, probably for a good reason all three Ninja Turtle movies from the uh, there've been okay. in theaters yeah me too you never wait so you, but you've seen them at home though right yeah yeah but I, I saw them opening weekend oh okay I got you yeah yeah I, I definitely remember seeing 2 and 3 in theaters and TMNT the CGI one never seen that one it's okay I think it's got a decent cast. Right. Um, I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. Uh, but prior to that, though, we're bouncing all over the place. We're just doing a quick old little timeline. Uh, but prior to that, you had the uh, the the TMNT cartoon, Tommy, that you are a fan of. Yes. The, uh, the one that came out on Fox Kids to the uh, New Yorking uh, audience members. Mm-hmm. New Yorking? Yeah. That one was really good. I never got into that. I thought it was just like, eh. I think I was kind of like, what which I'm call it? I was kind of like rebelling against my youth in a way. I was just like, oh, I don't need to see Ninja Turtles. I'm good. Oh, boy. But yeah, fucking right. Get you're over yourself, an stupid ass, ass Chris. Yeah, get yeah. out of your own way and enjoy life. You're absolutely right, Tom. One should get out of their own way and enjoy life. I am. Uh, I'm enjoying my life. You know, I don't know why you're so defensive saying that, but okay. It's, um, it's your it, it's your tone. It's my tone. It's I think it's your tone. Mm. We'll agree to disagree. No, we're going to agree oh. that I'm right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. uh, but you really did like this one, you. right? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah, the animation I really liked. I liked the model of the turtles. Uh huh. I, I, I was a big fan of when the heroes are wearing like something over their eyes. You don't you don't see their uh, eyeballs. Yeah, I know. I'm I know a what you mean. Fan yeah. Of Batman animated series, Wolverine. Uh huh. In the X Men animated series. Gotcha. Gotcha. Every time the cartoon would fuck up in, on the uh, in the uh, the old cartoon, the old Dick cartoon, Deke. The what? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Ignore me. You're just trying to mock me. I feel. No, I'm not. I'm trying to mock the anime, the poor animation quality off the uh, early oh. Ninja Turtles cartoon. Because there's a lot of fucked up they shit really in that thing. They really leaned in on the uh, Triceratons. Yeah, because, I mean, one. dinosaurs are cool toys. Obviously, I mean, listen, Root Nation, if you weren't alive in the late 80s, early 90s, Jesus cartoons Christ. and shows for children 
all were toy commercials. That was it. Transformers, Power Rangers, anything that could be like, I need to make a toy out of this. Mm -hmm. Here's a cartoon. I'm going to green light a cartoon. Like, that's it. And there were a ton, a ton, a ton of cartoons. That's a ton of toys, I mean. Um, And uh, rumor has it, the uh, I think it was the 2012 series, the CG animated Ninja Turtles series, the one I liked, that got canceled because the toys weren't selling. See, it's just yeah. that's that's how it goes, you know. I like that one because um, the voice cast, the voice cast was good, and they did a lot of like inside jokey stuff. Okay. Like they had like like for example, they 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 had um uh who's the guy who played um Freddy Krueger. Robert England? Yes, Robert England. They had Robert England play like a Freddy Krueger type character who was like, you know, sneaking into people's dreams and shit, which is like, all right, I see what you're doing there, you know? Like the kids aren't going to realize who that is, but the adults, they'll get it. Tom's unimpressed. No. Okay. You no, know you're not impressed or no, you're... No, I'm not impressed. Okay. Well... I was impressed. Uh, what we were both unimpressed about is the rise of the Ninja Turtles yeah. cartoon. Yeah, I tried. I heard. Yeah. I didn't even give it a try. I think I watched an episode and a half on Paramount Plus in my two months free I got. Oh, my um, God. And I just, I just couldn't. They were you know? horrible. Yeah. I like, don't get me wrong. I like the fact that they all look different. Like, that I was okay with. But, like, and the animation was okay, but it was also, like, I didn't like... The tone just wasn't there, and even though I heard it had like a almost like an Avatar: Last Airbender vibe, in the sense that it's it's a kids' cartoon, it's gonna start off goofy and then get and then ramp up. I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. You know, I already did that with Avatar. I did that with Clone Wars, and both of those paid off. But I was like, ah. I'm like, eh, no, I'm good right now. Thanks, but no, no thanks. No, you're a better man than I am. Giving that a chance because I try. Yeah, I did. I, I did. did. I did try it. Yeah. I was um, like, this is fucking horrible looking. Right. And this should not be allowed to see the light of day. Okay. Uh, whoever created that should be dragged out. Oh, boy. Tied between two horses. Okay. Oh, going old school. Wow. All right. All right, then. Anyway. That's um, how I feel. So those are pretty much the cartoons that happened up in the, uh, the Ninja Turtles animated uh, series. There's also remember remember Ninja Turtles the, the Next Mutation, which was the uh, live action Ninja Turtles show. Is that the one where they teamed up with the uh, Power Rangers? Yes, it is. You didn't think I, I I knew that, did you? No, I knew I knew that. I thought you would go with the uh, the introduction of the character of Venus de Milo, the female Ninja Turtle. Oh. Forgot about her. Yep. Well, a lot of people did. We d- we did almost see the Ninja Turtles live though. The oh, the the radio five. show? I mean the the band, the music show. We missed them by forty five minutes. Oh, uh, we missed them at uh, Hell in a Cell. Yes, that's right. Yeah. They were advertising uh, one of the video games that came out at that time that Ubisoft had. I think Battle Nexus or some shit. And um, yeah, they were in um, in attendance in the same WWE pay per view we were at. Yep. Can't believe we missed them. Would have been a lifelong dream. Man, you want to talk about something that has a torrid history. Uh-huh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle video games. Video games, yeah. So, obviously, Nation, we were the whole reason why we're doing this Ninja Turtle talk was for Shredder's Revenge. Yes. Um, but, obviously, we are a month and change removed. Uh, so, maybe it'll be in time for the Cowabunga Collection also coming out soon. But, yes, the Ninja Turtle video games. And I wait to play tournament fighters. Yeah, you're a big tournament fighters fan, right? You're uh-huh. a big fighting game fan. Exactly. So. I can't. I can't wait to make you weep. Make me weep. Okay. Um, imagine if I got really good at tournament fighters. No. No. <laughs> I can't. No. I can't. Can you imagine that? No. Um. Yeah. So the Calabunga Collection is going to have the NES games, the arcade games, the Game Boy games, and you know the Super Nintendo slash Genesis games that are applicable to that. Um. What are some of your uh, Ninja Turtle video game? History, Tommy. Jesus Christ, the NES one. Well, the NES one is notorious. Oh my God, that was like the first. That that actually that might have been one of my first rage quits. I don't blame you. I mean, I I'm I don't I've I've never played it, but Ooh. I know about it. 
And it, yeah. it's brutal, man. It's one of those early NES games that like people are still back in the day nation. Again, if some th- this is all something completely lost to time now. Um, in order to combat rentals and people beating games in one sitting, they just made the game super hard. Yep. That you had to just either keep renting it or just buy it straight out. Um, and obviously, a lot of this also comes from the old arcade mentality, where it's just like, oh, you got to put a new quarter. Yep. Got to put a new quarter. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, but yeah. Um, the NES game is notorious for being tough, being brutal. Um, but they and mm-hmm. I really didn't play anything until Turtles in Time. In Turtles in Time was my first one. Yeah, I remember seeing the arcade in a, at Movie Land uh, back Movie uh, Land. out here in uh, Massapequa. Yeah, um, which was not the same game I played on Super Nintendo because I did not realize that the arcade version is also different than the home console version. You know, like it's just one of those things. Like there's different there's differences. You know, um, but both versions are going to be in the Cowbunga collection, and I think that's pretty much that's where my Ninja Turtle games kind of came in and then left because at that point, you know, the the license was getting kicked around. Um, I would play the arcade game wherever I would find it. You know what I mean? Um, I remember my dad actually having one of those old Tiger Electronic um, Ninja Turtles oh, Ninja yeah, Turtle yeah, games, yeah, and he yeah. played that shit fucking constantly. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, "Wow, okay, that's pretty I cool." I used to have a lot of those tiger, 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 uh, tiger, tiger, tiger uppercut, tiger, uh, tiger. That's tiger. Uh, I'm done. I was gonna see how I mean. <laughs> uh, handheld game. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, outside of that, like Ninja Turtle games, like I, I would just see them. You know, I would be like, "Yeah, okay, you're doing a thing. I got it. You're doing a beat 'em up." All right, Ubisoft's got the license. Okay, cool. All right, now Activision has it, and Platinum's making a game. All right, neat. All right, whatever. Um, and then, yeah, Shredder's Revenge. That got real hype. And I'm glad Konami is opening the vault and doing this uh, Cowabunga collection. Uh, and I guess to a lesser extent, Nickelodeon. No, it is. It's coming out. Um, physically, it's coming out, I think, at the end of August. Um, it is, if, if it's coming out digitally prior to that, I'm not too sure. Um, but also, Shredder's Revenge is coming out, I believe, uh, physically, uh, late September. Okay. So we should have our copies in hand on the Switch, and we can play it. Um, we didn't talk about those awful Michael Bay movies. Oh. I just realized. Oh, well, because it is notable. They did make a lot of money. And they did put Bebop. Did you see the second one? Uh, yes, we did. No, we saw the first one. I didn't see the second one. I would have remembered Bebop and Rocksteady. We did not. A thousand percent we did not. Oh, maybe I just watched it alone. That That is depressing on very many no, fronts. No, 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 I'm sorry, not alone, but like I watched it with Sean. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> no, it's fucked up. Um, you're, you're a bad person. I'm a bad person. Um, speaking of round, speaking of circling, um, Ninja Turtles in games, though, Injustice. They were in Injustice. They're in a bunch of shit. Cameo appearances and this and that. Yeah, Injustice. Did you play a, 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 as them? Yeah. You did? Absolutely. Okay. Cool. H- how'd that go? Them. Okay. Yeah, that was big, too, because that was, like, after yeah, one of the... Oh, boy. Take it easy. My... Yeah, can't, like a turtle. Like, like that. Like a fucking... Coming out of shell. Mm, coming out of your shell tour. I think I have that VHS upstairs. I gotta, I'll find it for the Instagram. The coming out of our shell tour. Oh. The uh, the music. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the the rock tour, the rock opera, or something like that. I don't know. Ninja Turtles. What a ride. It really is. Um, and like you said, Tommy, I did read Last Ronin. Uh, Ninja Turtle comics are still going strong. Uh, from Archie to IDW. Um, right now, uh, Last Ronin, it, it actually, Last Ronin is getting like a sequel series talking about, I guess, the events leading up to that. Yes, yeah, I saw that. Which seems super unnecessary, especially how Last Ronin ends, but what are you gonna do? Money to be made! Nothing more Ninja Turtles than that. But yeah, you should read that too. I'll, I'll let you borrow that. I'll let you borrow that in, uh, Spider-Man's. Cool. I'm now in the middle of rereading some, uh, Asian Apocalypse. Mmm. Mm. What'd you say? I, I said I was hankering to read those. I was doing hankering for some Major Apocalypse. Any more Ninja Turtle thoughts, Tommy? Who was your favorite Ninja Turtles ally? 
I love the concept of Casey Jones, the fact that he is like the Punisher, but with and doesn't kill people, and he's got just it's sporting goods. Yeah, I mean that. that, um, that, that you know what? That was a stupid question. Everyone w- w- right. I mean, you know, you got your Saki Ojimbo, which is Saki, which is good. Saki Ojimbo. Um, wasn't Rat King an ally in like an episode? Rat, or two? you know what? Rat King, I think, is my favorite villain because he's just. He's just the, the Rat King, you know. Like there's, he's, there's he's no like parallel. Man. He's like Mole Man, but he's like the Rat King or yeah. something, you know. Like it's just so stupid. Um, James Avery as Shredder. Is James, oh yeah, and the, and the and Krangs you got is man. I think the mythos for for Ninja Turtles is, is so interesting because it started off as one thing and has just kind of transformed into so many other things, mutated, if you will. It's oh. different iterations and <laughs> adaptations <laughs> and interpretations, man. It's that. just it's a lot of no, not at that note. We wow. we did poll the Rude Nation about their favorite Ninja Turtle, and I did not cue this up properly, so I have to go through our highlights on our Instagram page, Instagram.com forward slash Rude Boys four six nine, and find out. When we pulled the nation, so apparently oh, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, vamp a little. I mean, bit. I'm, I'm right. I was right. I was vamping myself. But... All right, cool. You're right there. Yeah, I'm right there. Um, okay. So we asked our favorite Ninja Turtle, everybody, and an astounding forty four percent. I only say astounding because it, it's split between four, so that's pretty good. That's more than a quarter. Uh-huh. Raphael, forty four percent. Yeah, of course. That's, Tied for second for twenty two percent. Leonardo. No, Donatello and Michelangelo. Hmm. Leonardo, 11%. Raphael is is the fucking easy choice to do for people who have no imagination. See, that's and that's why I, I, I don't want to be like I'm ashamed that I like Raphael. Because, again, like, he was the first toy as a kid. I was like, because I had the toy, I'm like, oh, my God, Raphael's the man, you know? I had the size and shit. But, like, nowadays I'm like... Uh, like I don't want I don't want to be you know Leonardo man double d- double fucking katanas I would say yeah I would say Leo or Donnie would yeah. be my uh, would be my go tos um but yeah that's that's where it, it le- ended off um uh we did ask uh the nation who they picked and um one of the answers we got was uh that uh, my, uh Michelangelo because um he is also a party dude you know so party dudes unite right Tommy much like yourself. Not on a Thursday recording. That's fair. And on that note, Rude Nation, thank you for joining us for the Rude Boys Power Hour. Plus, Ninja Turtles, man. Close up that manhole cover. Back into the sewers you go. Is that what you call your butthole? No. Oh. Weirdo. I I thought you called your butthole the manhole. No. I mean, it is this man's hole. But not the manhole. Chris, what is our next episode? Next episode is episode 129. Oh, you want to know topic? The topic is going to be an old-fashioned Rude Boys Rank Up, everybody. You think I forgot about this topic, but I did not. Uh, Thor, Love and Thunder, all wrapped up. Uh, We got all this news for Phase 5 and 6 coming out. Namor is going to be fighting uh, the nation of Wakanda. Presumably he's going to be the big bad. So leading up, gearing up for the end of Phase Four, and we Love, up and Love and whoop. Thunder might be hitting Disney Plus August twenty second, or the twenty fourth. You have no idea. We are going to be doing a Rude Boys rank up for all the MCU villains. Maybe not all of them. We still have to discuss on who's notable enough to put on this list. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that either off-air or we'll discuss it on the ride to possibly Grasshoppers. There will Saturday. be prep work. Maybe. Yes. May, no, there will be prep. I have to prep for the rank-up because we're going to be nation putting this on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash rudeboys469, like we do, so we implore you to come and join us when we do our Rude Boys Rank Up. Um, date to be determined. So we also implore you to go to our social media, 
pages instagram.com forward slash rude boys 469 twitter.com forward slash rude boys 469 facebook.com forward slash rude boys 469 follow like subscribe do all that stuff and get privy to when we go on to our twitch twitch.tv forward slash rude boys 469 or just subscribe to that and we do our rude boys rank up and we want you i'm pointing to the computer screen but you can't see me yet to join us we've had a pretty good twitch turnout we have yes rude boys be streaming was, was getting up there it was very nice You're welcome. um yes thank you tom tom is tom is the is the is the um how do i put this nicely uh the pimp for the twitch the twitch pimp out. the twitch pimp so i just joined another two free companies so. please all all it is is just new eyes and then maybe these eyes can become ears these eyes are for seeing you those ears are for we're, bleeding we're not for, yeah for bleeding exactly um and hopefully they will become listeners of the rude boys podcast network we have a YouTube though, so so also remain eyes too. We have a YouTube. We do have a YouTube. Hmm. You can find that at bit.ly forward slash rude boys rude tube. <laughs> okay. Um, on that YouTube, we have uh, archives of our rude boys be streaming. We have our episodes up there. We all also have our archives of the uh, rude boys rank ups that we've done in the past. WrestleMania main events. Spider-Man costumes. I think that was it. Yeah, we've only had two. We've only had two. So here we go. Lucky number three. Coming up. Also, Apple Music, Google Music, Stitcher, Spotify, TuneIn. All those places you can find and subscribe to the Rude Boys Power Hour Plus. But our home away from home, our lair, our New York City underground sewer dwelling, which the rent is astronomical um you can find that at rudeboys.podbean.com flick that bean cowabunga if you want to hit me up on social media i'm at tesh Sherms, t-e-h underscore s-h-e-r-m-s on twitter and instagram and i have a mixology page sherm mix a lot 64 which nation you can see the drinks that we drank last episode when we originally planned to do the ninja turtles episode Oops. yep whoopsies we drank and talk too much, but uh, that's what you get. Tom? You can get me on my social media at Tommy underscore Cash 80, and that's Cash with a K. And that'll do it for us, Rude Nation. Thank you for joining us for the Rude Boys Power Hour Plus. We will see you next time on the Rude Boys Power Hour Plus. That's a bad sign off. Party on. This has been a presentation of the Rude Boys Podcast Network. Um, oops.